When you drive the same road day after day, it's easy to think about the road not taken. I was lucky. I picked a good road early, and I stayed on it. Mr. Coxman? What can I do for you? It's about your son. I've never worked with Liam Neeson before. I've been, obviously, as everyone is, a huge fan of his work. Um, and it's a joy to, to, to meet him uh, and, and work in scenes with him. He's so, I don't know, powerful without doing anything. Um, and then, you know, as soon as they call cut, he's the first person to smile and laugh. And um, he's a gentle, wonderful man. And it's an honor to know him as a person, um, let alone as an actor. He died of a heroin overdose. We didn't know our own son. Kyle wasn't a druggie. Sorry, but all the parents say that. Uh, I love Hans Petter, the director. Um, he's got a clear vision. Uh, I haven't myself seen the, the original film that he directed uh, because I didn't want to steal things off the old other actor. I'm sure he's wonderful. But he allows actors to play. He knows very much um, what n the scene needs, but he never forces an actor. He kind of guides actors into that uh, if you need more energy or less or, or whatever. But he does, at the end of the day, let you play. And a lot of the ideas that I've come up with through improvising in the scene, he's open for. Um, some directors don't like that, but he's so open to, you know, I'll just do something in a take and he'll say, that's great. He may not necessarily love it, but he'll say, but it'll give him an idea. So really, it's a, it feels like a proper collaboration with him. Um, um, and uh, he really respects his actors as well. He's into telling the story and getting in there, and quite a lot of directors will give you a whole bunch of them. They'll give you 10 notes for one scene, which is very hard to process, but Hans is very good at just saying, think about this, you do a take. Now think about this, and actually slowly layer things um, so that by the end of it, you feel that you've really got to the meat of things, and he just loves this story so much, and he's having so much fun. You know, we did a scene the other day, which we're going, God, we're doing this again and again and again. Maybe we're getting this wrong. And he actually came up and said, no, the reason we're doing it again is because I'm really enjoying myself. This is a really fun scene to do, and I want to try it this way and this way. So he's, that energy is very infectious. What is it with all these nicknames? Speedo, Viking, Eskimo. It's a gangster thing. Did you have a nickname? Wingman. Wingman. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> no, those guys. I love this role. This role has been one of the very, it's been one of the most fun roles this year that I played because he's so, um, he's not really what, you know, what I usually get cast as, which is the whole point of the character really, because he looks like something and it's through his personality and what's going on underneath him that actually the story erupts from. So I'm enjoying this role very much. Citizen of the year. Good for him.